Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is a June 21 for 33 variant. And the first part is we have here, we have to show this connection and the normal to curve at P. You can see this line is normal to curve. Okay, there's a curve. And you know it very well. This line is called tangent and this line is called normal. So it is a 90 degree bit in the middle of them. You know it very well. Okay, what a story here. And P coordinate X, Y. So P coordinate X, Y. I'm writing here X comma Y. And M is a foot of perpendicular. Hmm. So it means perpendicular. This X, Y represents that this gap from here till here is X. And this gap from here to here is Y. So the curve is such that for the all X values, this, okay, the area of triangle equal to 10. This I will use for the next part is below down, but this part we can do another way. So what are the coordinates of this? This is a normal gradient, normal and normal end coordinates if I talk about. So let's say a gap from here to A is X1. So I will give you X1 zero coordinate and what are the coordinates of P? So P is XY. I believe this is nothing hard up till now. If I ask you what is a gradient of the PN, I mean normal, okay? So what is the formula uh, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1? Okay, so this is a gradient of the normal I can say here. PN or only and no issue at all. And negative Y over X1 minus X. What is X1? So from here to here is X1. From here to here is this X. So how to pronounce this is it's called NM because this gap is NM. So I'm writing here NM, okay. Or sorry, MN, MN, MN because um, this gap I use by MN. Okay, now attentive please. If this normal gradient is this, as I said, okay. So what is the normal of tangent? So tangent become negative reciprocal. So this sign become positive and this will go up and this will come down. So flip. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen MN by Y. So proved. So first part is proved. And the gradient I'm writing dy over dx. All of you familiar. And make sure some student can ask me. So why not get up normal? Make sure whenever you differentiate any equation of curve. And you plug in x there, there it always gives you gain of tangent, never normal. So by default, when I, it means when I talk about the, uh, this is a normal gradient, but I need tangent gradient, and that is why you can prove it here. Alhamdulillah done. So this is a very important link. Area of triangle is equal to tan x. I repeat, area of of triangle PMN is equal to 10x. And how to get area of triangle? This is a triangle I talk about. So half, half into base into height. Base M and height is this. So I'm writing here half into base into height. And what is the base? Base is a MN. Half times 2 MN. And height is triangle very clear Y. So this is Y. This MN value, you will plug in it here. Okay, so I'm going to plug in value. This is here. So uh, so it means Y will go there. So it means this equation, when I multiply Y there, it will turn to be this format. So this is a value of MN. So this value of MN will come here. Actually, I'm replacing the, uh, this value. So now I believe this is OK into Y equals to 10X. And the answer is close to prove. So DY, OK, you know, this is, you can see even half Y into Y become Y square. Into DY over DX equal to 10X. So proved. So this is done. Now he's asking the next part when Y is 1, X is 0. Solve differential equation and the curve and find and make a y in terms of x. Short story, we have to make a y a subject. Y a subject. So I will use a top link connection, okay? Or I can use this connection also. So copy 
and paste here. All right, so let's see how we can do it. So job number one, we have to make a Y subject. We keep Y alone left hand side. So this will multiply there. I get half Y square dy equals to 10x dx. I want to tell one thing. I know many students keep one by two here, but as a, I just show you that no effect will come if two will shift there. So if two will shift there, they reduce your burden on the subject side. I repeat, re reduce the burden, whatever burden half was coming here, I brought on the other side. If you leave it here, half, no effect will come. So now I'm integrating. When I integrate both sides, what happens then? Integrating both sides, I will get this kind of format. Have a look. Y square dy. Integration, two I can keep outside. And what is the tan student sign over cause? All of you know it. Because directly cause integration is tan integration is not in our syllabus. Basic formula, I'm going to use function in denominator, derivative in numerator, function of derivative one. So answer is what? Log of function. So this technique I use here. Now look, function derivative down and derivative in the numerator and power of function is one. Only problem, the cause derivative is minus sign, not cause, not sign only. So I need a minus here. What I will do, so one negative outside, one negative inside because negative into negative become positive. So this is a very important criteria. Otherwise, we cannot get the derivative up. So what is this integration? Increase a power by one, divide by same. What is this? According to criteria function denominator, answer is yes. Derivative in the numerator, answer is yes. Power of function is one, answer is yes. Then log of function. So alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Plus C, right, right hand side, left hand side, no effect. But best idea, right on right hand side. Answer will come same. So no effect to answer. Now I'm putting the values, put what? Uh, y1, x0. Put y1 and x equal to zero. So when I put one here, one cube is one, one over three. When I plug in zero, cos zero is one, and log of one is zero, so this is gone. And wait a minute. So, so Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You know, some student, if you uh, keep this two there, not right hand side, the C will get a one by six, because this two will have six. So I'm getting one by three, so not a big trouble. I'm going to show you why not trouble. This C will go back there, and what will happen? Y cubed by 3 equal to negative 2 log of cos x plus 1 over 3. What is my target? Make a y alone. But this 3 is disturbing, number 1. Then this power is disturbing. So first of all, multiply whole equation by 3. So into 3 here, this gone, y cubed. And when this 3 multiply here, I get negative 6 log of cos x. When three multiply with that, I get a one. So then I remove the power three, it become a cube root. And I have, I am sure you observe that you got the same answers. I'm writing one before and that later. So no issue at all. And this is my final answer. I hope so you got the idea. Very, very clear. 